Hey, this is Steve from DP Studios, and in this video tutorial, I'll show you how to do a simple reflection in Photoshop. So, um, I'm gonna do it, do a font, and then just a little logo, and then show you how to make a reflection out of it. It's really simple thing to do, but um, a lot of people not quite sure that of the easiest way to do it. And I had to redo this video anyway because my first one was just huge. So we're gonna redo it. So um, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select my type tool and then go up here to the top and you see this little clipboard looking thing right here. It says toggle the character and paragraph palettes. You're gonna click that and it's gonna bring up this guy right here. And what that does is inside here it's gonna help you um, change the look of your font a lot easier. And uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drag out a nice little section here about the size that I want it and just add DP Studios to it and then the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and right here this changes the size of my font and what I'm going to do is highlight it and then I can click and drag this um, to the right and the left to make this bigger and then I could also you can make it taller or shorter or whatever using this one and then and spread it out more which I didn't leave enough room to do so but I basically just want a nice little fat font for right now um, that's pretty cool right there and also I have there it is I have my little avatar that I use on DA I'm just going to click and drag that in just to show you how you can apply this to an object and to type it doesn't matter you can apply this effect to anything but what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to even these up fairly close and if you have your rulers on by um, holding down control and clicking R bring your rulers up and you can click inside the ruler right there and drag down what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this ruler right at the base of my little logo right there and then I can click on my type with the move tool selected and bump that down and get that just right so then I can just uh, grab that red line and drag it out of there I think by default in Photoshop that line's blue so you can go into your preferences and change that though um, now what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to come over here into my layers palette and with my layers palette we can go ahead and close the character thing. I don't I don't need that open anymore. Just move it out of the way. Um, I'm gonna go over here and I'm going to click on DP Studios right there and I'm gonna drag that down into my create a new layer and that's gonna make a duplicate layer or you could control J same thing. Make a duplicate layer of that. And what I'm gonna do with the, my transform controls on and up, you'll see up here at the top where it says C transform controls. Um, that's in CS2. I think in CS it says something else like bounding boxes or something like that. Same thing. Um, click that on. Control T on your keyboard. Click one of these little squares right here and then click inside of it. And, well, you can't see it, but down in here it says flip vertical. I want to go ahead and flip that vertical. And then using my arrows on my keyboard, I'm going to just, um, I'm going to scoot that down. It's just below my font I don't actually on my top layer I don't actually like mine touching so just bump it down just a little bit less and then click enter on your keyboard and now you have that and I'm going to do the exact same thing with my little avatar here control J makes a duplicate copy click on that inside it flip vertical use my arrow keys to bring that straight down and the reason why I use my arrow keys instead of dragging with my mouse is because it actually it keeps it straight in line. I don't have to worry about moving off to the left or right. So okay, I'm going to click enter on that and now we have the beginning of what's going to be our reflection. Now over here in your layers palette, let me drag this open so you can see the entire thing. Over here in your layers palette, um, we're going to select the top or the I mean the bottom one. Whoops. With the move tool. I'm going to click this bottom one right here where it says DP Studios copy. I'm going to hold down control. That one's selected, but I'm going to hold down control and then click on layer one copy. And that selects both of those layers. And then control E on your keyboard and merge those layers together. Um, if you're on a Mac, I believe that's command instead of control. So now that we have this layer as one, I'm going to click right here in the bottom of my layers palette where it, palette where it says add a layer mask. Click that and you'll see if your colors weren't already set to black and white it will change it for you 
and in a layer mask, um, black erases and white paint. So basically what I want you to do is go up here and you'll have your paint bucket right here. If you right click inside that paint bucket, there's a gradient tool right behind that. And then up here at the top, make sure that this is set to the default second one, which is which would be your um, foreground color to transparent and select OK. Now with my, I'm going to drag a guide tool back out here, it doesn't matter where because I'm going to be going up and down with this. So I just drag it for my ruler on the left and this is going to help me keep my gradient straight. So what I'm going to do um, with the black selected, my gradient tool, I'm going to click right, just right inside here. I'm going to click hold and drag up and there you go. When you let go, you'll see over here in the layers palette that right here, this is our, our layer mask. That black that I just painted on there erased part of that. So it gives a nice little reflection. And then you can just take the opacity and you can you can drag it down to whatever you like until you get it the way you want it to look. And there you have a nice simple reflection. And like I said before,